I am profoundly ashamed that City Hall is willing to sponsor a Trans Day of Remembrance lighting in a building that has police, that has humans who are not on the side of the liberation of my sisters and my children. HeartSpark Press and Unite were not invited to even be a part of the lighting of the ceremony. And you are telling me you're going to light up City Hall to honor black and brown trans women? You're going to light up a City Hall that has police, and police are a part of the problem. They kill my families. They make it unsafe to live. I urge you next year to not involve the police, to not light up your building, and put money where your mouth is, and save my sisters. Uh, hello, City Hall. My name's Lawrence. I'm just an, I'm, I work with HeartSpark Press. Um, I'm a tranny suffering in the conditions you create for us to not live in this city. Um, I want to say that I am a person that values uh, hearing out people's pain and talking to their hearts. And I feel like the people here at City Hall, they don't do that. You fuck with people's hearts. You create illusions. Point of order, I'm going to ask that you refrain. This is broadcast live out in people's homes with families, young Again, families. my point is, like, like <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't care what I just said, which proves my point. You're not listening to my frustration and pain having to deal with people like you who are worried about what I'm saying instead of, like, or how I'm saying it instead of what I'm saying. Just like the illusions of this meeting, like this shit's nice, right? You get people in a room, they come to you with their problems, you, you say you care, but you don't really do anything about it. We go home, we come back again, there's no solutions. So I, um, I hope, but I'm very hopeless in change, especially when it's in the hands of people like you on this board. I hope that you will be able to hear our pain and we can have a meeting point in getting the peace we want to see in the world. And I would like also to like not have the police involved um, with any sort of lighting involving any like trans women, KMAT people, really anyone. Um, Thank you. I've got Iota, followed by the Royal Majesty. Uh, it is Iota Wak Ishwit, the United States of America, and yes, Olympia, Washington, and its heritage is built upon the backs of brown, black and brown indigenous people. And it was genocide, and genocide is an ongoing and occurring, reoccurring thing. <clears throat> it's a process that starts with making sure that people cannot live within the society's confines, and the only way they can survive is by breaking the rules. So I'd like to finish with saying that it would be really nice if people around this part who preach progressiveness or preach acceptance and want to light up lights around buildings that are very governmental and symbols of oppression <coughs> to do better and actually more action rather than words and cheap symbols of vapid solidarity. Thank you. Thank you. Next I have the Royal Majesty. I just want to say how dare you co-opt the symbols of my trans and gay siblings while also having those very same symbols protected by people who are meant to eliminate us. How dare you? And how do, how dare you even think about accepting an award for for a place that you block off half of? 
therefore making it imp impossible for me to get around in the sea. I am... I am beyond angry. I'm furious. I'm furious that this town even has the nerve to claim progressivism. <laughs> even though we all know progressivism is proto-fascist anyway. <laughs> I, I would say do better, but I know y'all are just, you're doing your job. And your job is to oppress my family. I hope when you go home at night to your comfortable houses, to your middle class lives where you have to where you have to worry about nothing that you think of me and that it hurts you terribly. Because that is all I can hope for, since I have hope, don't have hope for much else. I give up the rest of my time. Thank you.